Hey everybody, welcome to the show. My name is Dean Renfro. Glad to have you on the show today. We're going to be talking about this real important, I think, opportunity that you have to get, you know, to create business with the right ideal customer or client. You know, a lot of times for businesses, uh, that's what they find themselves, especially if you're a coach or a teacher or a speaker or uh, somebody who does consulting or somebody who's in marketing, constantly looking for the right client that fits you, that, that, that that's easy for you to do business with. Well, oftentimes we don't know how that happens. We don't know what to look for. We don't know how to discover that. I'm going to talk about three simple tools you can use to be able to find and create connection to that right ideal client. You ready to know that? Well, hey, glad to have you with us today. Be sure to say something in the chat box. Let me know you're here. If you're on my personal profile page, I may not be able to respond, but if you're on my network page or my speaker page, uh, just let me know you're here. I'd love to have a conversation with you about that. But how do you find, how do you find that ideal client? A lot of times we don't realize that, that what that means for us, it's not just about somebody that, that we like or somebody that, uh, that comes to us and says, Hey, can you do X for me kind of thing? But it's really all about pursuing people that are in the 100 list. That is people that can do best for you. Hey, Navi, glad to have you on the show. Appreciate you being here. Uh, and being able to find those people is, is critically important. So how do you do it? Well, I'm going to talk about three tools that I think you can use that will help you do that. One, one tool, it will help you discover them and, and teach you how to have the right conversation, how to, how to ask for an appointment, uh, how to ask for a sale, how to follow up with them. What if, you, what if you were able to put all that in a neat package where when you approach them, you pretty much knew what the strategy was going to be for having a conversation. You, you pretty much knew what worked best for them. Because there's just three questions that people, uh, that anybody's asking on the other end, the client end uh, of things is, well, what's this gonna do for me? You know, what, what's it, what, what is it you have and what is it gonna do for me? In other words, how does it meet my need or what I want to have happen? The second thing they're, they're, they're looking at is, why do I need that? In other words, my why has to be answered as a, as a, as a customer. As a client. In other words, if I'm trying to get out of debt, like Nobby teaches people, well, then, then my, there, there's a why behind that. Maybe it's so that I feel more secure. Maybe it's so that I can take a dream vacation. Maybe it's so I don't have to, to, to worry in my retirement days. Maybe it's because I, I've got to do this to be able to take care of my, my aging parents, or maybe I've got to do this to take care of my kids, or, or maybe I just need it for peace of mind. See, you, you have to understand those clients or customers, why when you do that? And then, of course, the big question that everybody always asks is, well, how are you going to do that? How are you going to do that? Hey, Andre, glad to have you on the show. So it, it, it positions you to be able to, to do that. And, of course, then the other tool we're going to use is a tool that puts us in the, in the place where those kind of people hang out, right? Because there's no sense trying to sell ice to an Eskimo. There's no sense trying to sell, you know, lemonade, st uh, lemonade, the people who are lined up to, to drink lemonade, you know, that, 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 that just didn't always go together. People who aren't thirsty aren't going to buy a drink. People who, who don't need ice aren't going to buy ice. You need to be finding people who need what you have, right? And who want what you have. And then the third tool we're going to use is something that's most important. I think for almost every business is an immediate way to follow up with them. Something that impacts them, a, a wow factor, if you please it. That, that you can use today that will help you position yourself to be somebody that's like, oh, wow, they went the extra mile. Oh, wow, they went the extra mile. So let's talk about that. Let's see how that works. So I'm going to I'm going to fill my screen up here and um, we're going to jump over here to uh, LinkedIn. Right. We're going to jump over to LinkedIn. And and today I jumped over to LinkedIn. I just jumped over there to see who uh, see what was going on on my profile. And what I found was somebody had sent me a message under notification. And this person's name is, is Christine Hudson. Hudson. I don't know Christine. I don't know who she is. I've never met her. I've never had a conversation with her uh, ever before, right? Uh, so, so I don't know who she is. I don't know who she is. And, and so part of that process, of course, is, is learning, it, right, is learning what to do with, with people like that. What do you do with them, right? And so I'm going to jump over here and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kill the background there so you can just have a, a basic background behind me. So, so she, she writes me and says, Hey, I'm impressed with your profile. Seems like you've been 
uh, in the, in the coaching uh, space for a while, I'd like to hear about your approach. Okay, and I'm looking, going, okay, do I want to do? Is this person somebody I want to do business with? Is this person somebody I want to do business with? I don't know. I don't know if it is or not at this point, uh, because you get hit every day with people wanting to, you know, uh, hit you up over there, and and that's okay. So so what? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run this tool. I'm going to run a tool, and it's going to tell me who this person is. And whether it's and how I would have a conversation with her about what uh, what she's asked me. Do you do I do all my coaching in person or do I have an online coaching program as well? That's that's her question. That's your question. So how should I answer her? I could just answer her. Yeah or no or what. But but I don't know who she's connected to. Maybe somebody is valuable, you know, in that six degree of separation. Maybe somebody's valuable that I need to connect to. How, how would I how would I know that? So what I'm what I did is I ran my tool, I ran my tool here on her page, uh, and uh, I, I ran the tool. There's the rest of that question. So let, let me let me get that back in space there. And so I ran the tool, and here's what I found out. Okay, Christine tends to communicate boldly, think out loud. And she especially likes to speak in front of people. So she's probably a coach or a speaker, right? She's probably a coach or a speaker. Uh, uh, she does not like to do routine things. So she tends to be somebody who who, who changes things over time, right? So let, let me, let's look at some of the other things I could know about her, right? The other things I could know about her. So if, so this tool this tool, it says she 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 talks about being a conversion coach. That's what she that's kind of what she specializes in. Right. So if I want to if I want to call her, well, let's say uh, I want to have a meeting with her and I want to set up a schedule a meeting. OK, I want to schedule a meeting about her. So. Here's what I need to message back to her and say something like this. Do you want to talk about it now? Or hey, let's dive in. This should be fun. Now I'm now my personality is I'm not one of those people. If you go look at my profile, you, you'd see that I'm not one of those people who 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 is a fun loving person. My idea of fun, most people think, is work. Okay, but for her, it's it, it needs to have a fun spin to it. I need to use fun language with this person, so I could say something like to her, "Oh, this should be fun." This should be fun. Yeah, let's talk about about that. So what what should I do with her? So if I'm going to have a conversation with her, I can talk about right here going, hey, let, what's the most intriguing thing you've been able to learn in coaching? Or here's one of the most intriguing things I've learned in coaching. What do you think about that? Huh? Let's let's have this discussion now. Let's don't put it off till later. Right. So that's kind of where she is. Uh, during the during the meeting, during the process, I need to talk about being, how fun this is or how enjoyable this is. That creates a bridge for us. That creates a bridge for us. And then a, as we wrap this up, I need to be able to summarize the goal of the meeting. Here, here's what I thought we were going to talk about, according to her question. And here's what here's what we talked about. Right. And so, boom, it, it brings it right together. Now, here here's what I don't do for this for my meeting with her. Notice this tells me, don't do this. Don't, don't give her a long list of things to prepare. She just wants to have a meeting, right? Notice she has a degree in psychology. That's, that's critical. Okay. I don't want to put the meeting too far in the future. She'll forget. She'll move on to the next party. I can tell you about, because I'm a personality coach, I can tell you right now what will happen with her. She'll move on to the next person with a great profile. I already know that about. Her. I also know that she will tend to over exaggerate. So I have to be careful in how I communicate to her it's because she doesn't want to, to do a lot of, you know, message back and forth. She just wants to get right to it. And, and, and also, I don't want to ask her to, to, to uh, give too much information about what to expect. She's not looking for that. So let's look at some of the other things that I could, uh, I could do in this process with her. Let me click this little button right here. In the meeting, in the meeting, it would be best. Let me get back up here. Here's what I need to avoid. Details, we talked about that. I don't need to, to follow tradition just for the sake of it. I don't need to always maybe do it the way it is. And I have to be, I have to be careful 
I have to be careful about being skeptical of what she's looking for. Now, that's something I have to understand because I tend to want to think, OK, what's her agenda? She may not be one. She may actually be on, ask, actually asking me, you know, for, inf for some good information or maybe looking to, to have a collaboration and figure out how we could work together. It would be good if I could use something like this tool right here, some kind of tool that we're putting up, a whiteboard kind of idea. Uh, she's probably going to be a little late to the meeting. If I set it at 10.30, she might be there at 10.35, okay? Uh, and I need to make sure that the meeting stays upbeat and positive, upbeat and positive. If I, in the conversation, one of the questions I need to ask for her is, what, what's her vision for the future? Where does she see her business going? Where does she see what she does and, and the people that she's trying to coach? Where do I see that going, right? Uh, I need to use something. I need to do some kind of surprise in the thing. She'll love it. It'll be important to her. It'll, it'll create an interesting meeting because that's what she that's what she's looking for. It'll also, I need to be sure I follow up or include in her. Well, here's what we're going to do next. Okay. Well, hey, let's talk again next Thursday. Okay. Or, hey, let, let's do this. Let's do that. Right. If, if, I, if, if we're able to work together, the whole concept and idea is get the ground running on a new project. Hey, let's do something. Let's do something with this. In other words, let's let's enter into a collaboration and make something happen. But I also would have if I were working with her, I have to make sure she re stays realistic about it because she's going to want to tend to over exaggerate it, make it too big, go too fast. And, and that I have to help her with that. And, but at the same time, we need to do something that challenges her together, challenges her together. So that, that's how this works. Now, if I were going to email her something, right, it would look something like this. Uh, here's my uh, I, I would want to make it a compelling open. In other words, I'm going to need to get her to open this email. Here, You know, example, what you might not know about Crystal. And in this case, what you might not know, what, what you might not know, Christine, I don't want to talk about Hey, let's talk about this and this. I want to. I want to do something with it. In the greeting, I need to. I need to make sure that I use a, a positive language. Hi, Christine. Hey, Christine. Not you know, dear Mrs. Hudson. I, that's not her. Okay, it's hey, Christine. In the body of this, I want to use expressive language. Get together will give us some great. Notice the word use of the word great and brainstorm. It gives her visual words. It gives you visual words. And and so uh, I, I don't want to use the, the terminology that I might with another client or person to say, well, here's a list of things we like we can talk about. For her, that's like boring. That's like boring. OK, so if in the email, what I want to what I want to challenge her to do is uh, is ask her a question that demands a response. But I, it doesn't need to be a long question. It needs to be a short question. Notice thoughts. Or, hey, let's are you ready to do this. Let's schedule a time. You know, on the sign off, I just it needs to just be something simple. Thanks, and put put her name. So, so that that that's something that uh, you can do with this. And, and then I could take some of the information from her social profile. I could jump over to uh, maybe her business page, or maybe over to her Facebook page, or maybe to her website, and throw some of the text in there from her. Uh, from those components and put it in here and it will help frame this better. So this is a huge tool that uh, that helps this happen. So sh this is some of the things you could do. Now you can see where her and I are. We're not we're not in the same piece of the pie. She's over on one side and I'm on this other side. She you can see where she is. She tends to be a little more risk tolerant than I am. OK, I'm kind of in the middle. I'm balanced on that uh, in, in the sense of I'm not too far risk and I'm not too risk averse. Uh, I tend to be more skeptical. She tends to be more trusting. OK, she tends to be more optimistic. I tend to be more pragmatic. We both kind of move over to the forceful side so we can we can have a pretty heated conversation. We, we both want to move through this fairly fast. We don't want it to drag on. We want to clip, clip, clip. OK, uh, she she's going to tend to be more expressive and use use more action oriented words. And, and I'm going to be more a matter of a fact kind of a person. 
And uh, I'm going to be a little more aut autonomous. In other words, I, I'm going to be more about working about it, through it myself. She's going to want to work together because she likes to be around people. Okay. And she wants to influence people. And of course, we're both going to kind of meet in the fact that we're both going to have to watch who's if somebody trying to take over the conversation. Okay. Uh, but what I need to do in the process with her is I need to allow her to be intuitive. I need her to get a gut feeling, a sense of things. I need to be able to allow her in a conversation to do that. Uh, I, I need to allow her to look for th new things, not old things, not things the way things have always been done, but what can we do together that's new? Okay. Uh, and, and she's probably going to um, uh, share what she thinks pretty often. Okay, she's not going to hesitate to do that. Uh, a lot of times, though, she won't see she won't see the flaws in what she's doing. It just be a great idea. It'll be the greatest idea ever. So it's the greatest thing I ever thought of. I woke up this morning and I thought of this, and isn't that so great? And that's that's all the thought she's given to it. Okay, so I, I have to understand that while she can have great ideas, she also may have not thought it through. Okay, uh, and she will have one thing that we can barter back and forth with is she is going to bring a lot of creativity to the situation. She's going to, she's going to push the envelope out there to help things make it happen. It, and, and that kind of thing comes to her. Here's some things that come to her. She's going to be very good and be, speak very persuasively in a one-on-one -on -one meeting. Okay. She, she likes to have a conversation with people. Uh, I, I, I'll need to let her, or help her lead the conversation of the meeting without giving it away. Okay. I need to do that. Okay. She's always going to bring energy to the conversation. She's just going to do that. That's the kind of person people are going to like her. Okay. People are, are, are going to look at this person as, wow, this is, this is a great person. This person's got a lot of energy, right? Uh, she's going to, uh, uh, have a lot of confidence. And so I have to make sure that I, I don't just be a yes person in the conversation, but that I, I exert my own opinions in the process. And, but at the same time, I'll have to avoid analytical information with her. So I'll tell a few jokes. Don't be as polished, but we also want to stick to the big picture of what it is, not to all the details of things. So th this tool gives you a lot of different ways to have a conversation and see if before you ever have a conversation, is this person someone I want to talk with. And if I do, here's how I talk with them, right? Here's how I talk with them. So when you, when you look at that kind of a tool, you can quickly see the kind of people you want to be able to have, do, have business with or do business with and how you approach them, because that is a big deal. That is a big deal. Now, one of the things that you're able to do then is as you go through the process is if you can that's, you know, first thing is who am I looking for? Okay. Can I work with them? Okay. And then the third thing is, is a follow-up process for them, the follow-up process for them. And so in, in, in sending her to a calendar to, to make a connection with me, then what, what's going to happen is she's going to go to a calendar and register. And when she does, she's going to, she's going to get a notification uh, of, of where she's at. And when she clicks on that, then she's going to get in the mail. She's going to get in the mail a postcard thanking her for making a connection with me. Now, let me ask you something. Based on what I've already showed you about this person, do you suppose that if she got a personal handwritten postcard in the mail from me because I made an appointment with her, you think that's going to impress her and, and create a better bond or not? Give me your answer in the chat box while I get a drink. You think it's going to give her a better impression and impress, make it impressive uh, uh, situation on her and build a bond again. Yeah, Deb Deborah's right. It's going to, it's going to do that. It's going to be a, a great response to that process. Okay. It's got a great response to that process. She's going to, she's going to be impressed. Okay. That I, that I'm, that I was able to do that. Not only is she going to be impressed that I was able to do that, but if I, it, then send her this report that I just created. She's also going to be impressed by that to go, wow, this, this is really me. 
And, and this works so well, right? This works so well. So, so this tool, which those of you watching the show, or if you're watching this on a replay, you can, you can go here and take this profile yourself. Even if you don't have a LinkedIn profile, you can go here and take this yourself and uh, take the profile and it, it'll build you one like that. It'll build one like that for you. And you can, you can see how that works and some other tools built in that is free uh, and you can use it for free. Now, how do you, how do you get the card to the person? How do you get the card to the person? The card's going to come to the person when they, when they go through the link, when you go through that link, you're going to get the card. Okay. Matter of fact, it's going to ask you for your look, if it's okay for us to know where your location is and you just click the box, tell it yes. And then you're going to get a card in the mail. And you're going to get a card in the mail. How cool is that? So you can find out how this whole tool works. And if you want to, if you want to participate in that card situation, you're like, hey, I want to do that too. Then you can go, you can go to this link uh, and and sign up for the card. And uh, it's uh, you can use it. You can use the free feature and send ten cards and and see how it works. See how people are impressed. You can do that. It is a huge tool to to be able to connect to people. Uh, and follow up with them immediately with something that they're not getting. There's something that they're not getting. And that, and that is because nobody uses the mail anymore except for junk mail. And now they're going to get a card uh, from you handwritten using your handwriting to be able to, to, and you can tell them something about the situation, you know, kind of what, what's going on. You can make them an offer. You can, you can send them to the next step, right? You can send them to the next step. So, that, that becomes, uh, I think, a huge, huge tool for you in the process, in the process, right? So you got a question. Three tools, three, three steps. Three tools, three steps. LinkedIn, right? Crystal knows and thanks I.O. Use, using those tools give you the three steps to do. Well, number one, I, I research people when they reach out to me. If I'm looking for a certain kind of person, then I research them using this tool, right? I use this tool to research people. And then I find out what's the best strategy to approach this person. How do I email them? How do I have a conversation with them? How do I have a sales meeting? How do I collaborate with them? What should the email kind of look like? And there's even templates built in that process. It is a, is a great tool uh, for watching. Sonia Pollard, thanks for watching. Yeah, I didn't know Sonia was watching. I can't always see everybody watching them in this tool but and of course you can use a tool just like this you can use Streamyard uh and, and see uh use a tool just like this and even bring people on the show or or show your screen just like i just did you can do that as well and uh you can go to Streamyard if you just click the Streamyard thing down in the uh, in the uh, uh below this video and you can go there and watch it <clears throat> some of you may i i don't i don't i may i don't know if i missed a comment or not but uh, if you have a question, be sure to ask it because I think I think you'll find that this is a very, very helpful tool, very helpful tool. that can get you to a lot of places. Anybody else have a question? I'm going to wrap the show up here. All right. But there's the two links that you can use uh, to uh, uh, to find out about yourself. Right. To find out about yourself uh, and see how that works for you. Uh, take your own profile. Learn how you can use it, and then you take the tool and use it. Now, it works really well over on LinkedIn because of the way LinkedIn's built, but you can use it on on, on uh, Facebook by just sending people a link. Say, hey, hey, when we have a conversation, this will help me a lot. Go here and fill this out, and you get the re you get a report uh, that you can share with them uh, and, and use it that way as well. So, these three tools and these produces these three strategies to be able to help you find that ideal client or customer that you need. And how you go about making a conversation with them. Again, thanks for being with us. My name is Dean Renfro. Thanks for watching the Dean Renfro Show. And if you're watching this on the replay, be sure to share the show with somebody else. Let them know all about this. And uh, we'll see you next time on the Dean Renfro Show. See you soon.